have studied about triangles and their various properties in your earlier classes. You know that a closed figure formed by three intersecting lines is called as triangle. And tri means three. A triangle has three sides, three angles and three vertices. Suppose this is triangle ABC. I can denote this triangle ABC like this. This is the symbol for triangle, triangle ABC. We usually use capital letter to denote triangle. Now a triangle has three sides. So which are the three sides of this triangle? I can write the sides of this triangle as AB, BC and AC. These are the three sides AB, BC and AC. Again three angles of this triangle. Angles I can denote as angle A, angle B and angle C. And triangle has got three vertices. The vertices I can denote as A, B and C. So triangle is a closed figure. It is not like this. It should be closed and it is formed by three intersecting lines. You can see three lines. One is AB, other is BC and the third one is AC. So all these things you have studied in your earlier classes. Now in this video we are going to study about congruence of triangle. What is the meaning of congruence? You can see here two photo of Mahatma Gandhiji. Again you can see two bangles which are of same shape, same size, same color or we can say two identical bangles you can see. Again you can see here two ATM card issued by the same bank that is two identical ATM cards. Now what do you call these figures? Indeed they are called as congruent figures. So congruent means equal in all respect or congruent figures means Congruent figures are those figures whose shape and size both are same. Shape as well as size both are same. Such figures are called as congruent figures. So these two photographs of Gandhiji are not congruent because one is small, other is big. It, if two figures are said to be congruent, then they should have shape, same shape as well as same size. Here one is big and the other is small. So these two figures are not congruent. Congruent means they should be equal in all respect. Their shape and size should be same. You may wonder why we are studying congruence. You all must have seen ice tray in your refrigerator. Observe that the modules for making ice are all congruent. So whenever identical objects have to be produced, the concept of congruence is used in making the cast. One more example. Suppose you may find it difficult to replace the refill in your pen by a new one. This is because when the new refill is not of same size as the one you want to remove. So if two refills are identical or congruent, then the new refill easily will fit in the pen. Again, another example you can see here, the tire of the car, the two tire of the car, they are identical and they are congruent. Like that, you can find so many examples where congruence of object are used in our day-to-day -day life. So please think about such examples or some of the geometrical figures. So when will you say two circles are congruent? 
two circles are congruent if they are of same radius suppose this is 4 cm radius of the circle is 4 cm we can say that these two circles are congruent if their radius is 4 cm or we can say that these two circles are congruent they are of same shape as well as same size that means their radius should be equal now when will you say that two squares are congruent two squares are said to be congruent if their side is of same length for example if the side of this first square is 4 cm the side of the second square also should be 4 cm and we know that in square the all the sides are of equal length now these two squares are not congruent because one is small other is big and their side is suppose this is 4 cm and this may be some 7 cm we can say that these two square are not congruent now in this chapter you are going to study about congruence of two triangles so two triangles in simple words we can say they are congruent if they are of same shape and size but if you say the definition two triangles are congruent if the sides and angles of one triangle are equal to the corresponding sides and angles of other triangle suppose ABC is one triangle and PQR is our second triangle so I can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR so this is the symbol for congruence we will put equal sign and one symbol like this this is the symbol for congruence so when will you say that these two triangles are congruent two conditions are there if their corresponding sides as well as corresponding angles should be equal that means corresponding sides should be equal corresponding side of first triangle should be equal to the corresponding side of second triangle that means this PQ covers AB or PR covers AC and QR covers BC or we can say that angle P covers angle A angle Q covers angle B angle R covers angle C or also we can say about the vertices P, vertice P corresponds to vertex A Q vertex Q cover, corresponds to vertex B again vertex R corresponds to vertex C so we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR but if you write like this triangle ABC is congruent to triangle QRP this is wrong because A corresponds to P and A is not corresponding to Q so this is wrong so be careful whenever you write it is necessary to write the correspondence of vertices correctly for writing the congruence of triangle in symbolic form so two triangles are said to be congruent two conditions are there sides and angles of one triangle should be equal to the corresponding sides and angles of other triangle so thank you for watching my video